Greetings and salutations, YouTube is here and here. Welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Today's gonna be a haul video, so if you guys are interested in seeing the thrifting video for this particular haul, hit the little eye right there, that window will pop out, and you can select that video there, and I'll have playlists for my other thrifting videos, haul videos, handbag rehabs, and vlogs. But if you guys love that sort of content, don't forget to subscribe, hit the little bell button for notifications, add me too on Instagram for more behind the scenes thrifting action, and check out my shop at itshadrian.com to see what I have for sale from my thrifting adventures. But with Without further ado, let's head into this haul because I got some really exciting stuff that I'm super excited to share with you guys because, oh my gosh. Okay, so, um, I have been looking for some new items to kind of, uh, deck out the backyard, just like, uh, do, um, a quick kind of, like, impact swap out of items that I have out there, primarily in pillows because a lot of the pillows that I have been using, um, and I do use are not outdoor pillows. I do have a, a good amount of just like plain solid white pillows that I can just like mix in or actually they're natural colored uh, with other stuff. And I have been looking for some just like really great outdoor pillows that I can kind of keep out for like most or all of the year and just like swap out a couple things here and there. And uh, let me show you guys what I got. So <laughs> I got, okay, this is the first thing. I got two of these pillows and these are all new from Target and they're all outdoor pillows which is awesome so they're all scotch guarded and everything there's like a little scotch guard thing right there um repels moisture during use and in storage and keeps fabrics drier longer and it has water shield and all that cool stuff so um I love this pillow so much it has like the really cool pelican design and it's blue white and then with the pops of like the orange which I think are also awesome. kind of like oh my I, I look a little orange right now the lighting I feel like this is like my whole motif like this pillow matches me right now so uh I really love these and these were eight dollars but what was really awesome was that right now at that particular location I had a 30% off coupon for your entire purchase, which is awesome. So if you guys love thrifting and all that stuff, you know your local Goodwills do also have coupons every now and then. So always check. You can ask the person at the register if they know if there's any coupons out. Um, sometimes in particular though, you have to print out your coupon. And this location like kind of has been like a little up and down with that whole thing. Uh, like it's, yeah. So... Um, it's better to just have it printed out, though sometimes they'll accept it on your phone. So, I got two of these guys. I really, 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 really do like them, so I can't wait to get them outside. And then, I got one of these pillows, because there was only one in the store, but I think I really only need one, because the graphic is, like, so specific. And it is this boat pillow. Again, this one is just a blue and white and the back is just a plain blue. So that's really cool too. So if I didn't want to have the print showing, I can just turn it around and it's like a two for one pillow. Um, the bird pillows with the pelicans, they are double sided so the birds are on both sides, but this one has two different sides, which is awesome. And this one was uh, $6. So really, really great. It's a really nice outdoor pillow. And then, I got one of these, which I really like. I always forget the name of this print. If you guys know what it is, let me know down below in the comments, because I always forget. But I remember, if you guys um, are familiar or know, I mean, you guys probably do, because she's amazing. Laura DIY, she actually did like a DIY project for how to make like this kind of print. And this one is, it's, it's really, really nice. Um, this is another double printed one, too, or double sided one too. So this one is orange on the back and then blue and white on the front, and that's really, really cool. I really, really like it. Again, this one, like, matches my skin tone as well. <laughs> I'm, like, so orange. I don't know why. I'm, like, I think it's because of the orange of this, but this one was $7, so really awesome. And I think it comes out to $4.20, like, right? Yeah, about, like, $4.20 per pillow. So there's this one. And I only got one of those, but to kind of match it, and to create more visual interest, which I really, really like to do with pillows. I like to have different size pillows, different shaped pillows, and the designs and all that stuff. So I did get this little lumbar pillow, which is always really nice. Uh, and this guy was only $5, so that came out to $3.50 for this guy. And this guy is 
the same on both sides. But what I like about this is that it doesn't match exactly, but you can still see that they go together really well. And I think the rule of thumb that um, I always go by, especially when I'm mixing prints, they, even though like not necessarily like the same print, but like say I'm mixing this print and this print together, the prints should be different sizes. So you can see like this one, like a really big graphic and this one's a little bit smaller. So. That's like kind of like my little rule when I'm mixing and matching different prints together is that they should be different sizes because if they're the same size, the prints tend to fight each other. But then if um, they're different sizes, even though the prints are different, they're still gonna look good, especially if the colors like have if they have complementary complementary colors with each other. So, um, oh yeah, so like as you can see here, blue and white, and then this one has the pop of orange. So. Really, really cool. I can't wait to show you guys how this looks uh, when I get it in the backyard. Okay, so next I have this pillow, which I am completely obsessed, obsessed, I just like bit my tongue, obsessed with as well. And this one has like a really cool wave pattern, which I really, really like. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but close up, like you can see there's like black kind of interwoven in there. So it's not like a solid blue. So it kind of makes it like has more depth and more texture and then it has the blue and white and then on the back it's just like that blue and black kind of woven kind of looking thing again and this one was eight dollars so this one was at eight times seven it was thirty was eight times seven five dollars and sixty cents oh my gosh eight say eight times seven yeah eight times seven fifty six oh my gosh I'm trying to do math in my head um and then to go with that one I also got another lumbar and the reason I got two lumbars is Again, just because I love the mixing and matching of the different sizes, the different shapes, but because mom and dad both really like lumbar pillows, so now they each have one, and like, oh, I didn't notice that this had like a little, ah, it's just gonna cut that off. Anyway, so um, again, this one was also, whoa, why was this one $8? And the other one was like so much cheaper. Who knows? <laughs> I didn't even catch that. Sometimes like, you, got, you should also check all the prices, because sometimes they'll price the same item, even though they're the same, differently. So, I, that's happened before in the past, but you know what? It's totally okay. And then I got well, this one last pillow, just because I thought it was really, really cool. And I don't know, yeah, this one is also a Target pillow. And it's really nice, because it's like a suede, kind of like faux leather. And let me actually see what it's made out of. Uh, made for pillow cover is 100% polyester. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So this is not real leather, which is cool. I have a couple real leather pillows. And this actually is like a really good, really, really good, like, faux leather. And I really like it because it has a zipper. Uh, a lot of the out- this is also definitely an indoor pillow, though I honestly would probably use it outside too. But what's great about this is that it comes with an into like, with a pillow inside. And, um, you can, like, take this off, remove it, and use it, like, use another pillowcase on it. So that's really, really cool. And this was only $10, so... This was 8 bucks. But for a pillowcase and, like, a like the interior pillow, that's a pretty good price. And the interior is a fe is feathered, is a feather down. Can't even talk anymore. It's a down insert, and those are always more expensive as well. And it's really nice and full, so I'm really, really excited about that. So those are all the pillows that I got. Um, This one is, of course, this is gonna stay indoors, and I don't think I'm gonna use it on my sofa because my sofa color is about the same color as this, and I feel like it's gonna fight too much, but I, have my new leather chair that I thrifted recently. So if you guys have not seen that video, I'm gonna try to have it linked. Hopefully I remember. But it was posted a few days ago, so it's like it's the it's the thumbnail of the video. So you'll probably be able to find it really easily. And that chair was amazing. I think this is gonna look really great on it because it's like a golden brown, and then that golden brown is gonna complement this gray really nicely. So um, I'm very very excited. Now my room is just covered in pillows, and honestly I couldn't be happier. Love pillows so much. Oh, let me show you guys. Okay, so <laughs> if you guys watched yesterday's video, um, I did also get. Okay, this is what it looks like. It's a Thomas and Friends like 
He is like a bubble maker thing. And I got this for Eliza. Again, I can never hold off giving the kids stuff that I buy them. Uh, so I had to just cut it out. and get, Like, luckily I saved the box. So, um, this guy was $7. I guess it was originally $12. So, almost half off. But, oh, actually, it was $7 and I got the 30%. So 7 times 7 is $4.90. So that's a pretty good deal, right? So that's $5. I did get it for more than half off, which is awesome. So, and it works really well. I tried it out, batteries and everything. And this is a new from Target item. And the box was just damaged, which is probably why it was there at the Goodwill. So I'm always excited to get new toys for the kids with just, with like such a great savings. So really excited about this guy. Plus, like, Eliza's really hard on these bubble guns. Like, he has a million and he always breaks them after a little while like these kids are just like running around with bubble guns it's like intense but they like it so as long as they're happy it makes me happy right okay so i'm gonna have that over there and we try and move all these pillows so i can show you guys the other stuff that i got oh okay this one is really really cool um I saw this at first and I was like what is it so it's like a tub and the tub is filled actually there's one damp like ink pad in here and then the rest are actually oven bl oven blake oven bake clay and this whole thing is just filled with clay of different colors that i can bake in the oven so i have always wanted to make my own vases for my plants and i think this is gonna be like one of the stepping stones to achieving that i think it's gonna be really exciting so we're gonna try this out it was only five dollars so i mean five dollars to try it out and see if i like it. i think that's i think that's pretty cool um maybe i can get the kids to try and make something too i don't know maybe maybe We'll do like a fun little group project. I don't know. I think I'll maybe try it on try it out on my own first. And but yeah, I'm really excited. Hopefully these aren't all dried out. Um, no, they're not. I can feel them, and they're still pretty like malleable. So I'm really excited. I had no clue what Primo Sculpey is either. So I don't know. I have to look it up and see how much this stuff even costs. Like, what if this stuff is like super expensive? Anyway, let me know down below what you think I should make with this. What kind of vase? I really, like, I'm really into, like, faces with faces. And I know that rhymes. And, I don't know, I think it would be really cool to just make, like, a little vase with a face. And then, oh my gosh, I'm gonna try and make one. I'm really excited. Let me know down below if you guys are excited as well. I really want to try it really, really soon. I might even try it tonight, maybe, if I have time. Probably not. But hopefully sometime this week. Um, okay. Oh, okay, this is cool. Um, I know it's really random, but I got this. It's a glass, like, reusable water bottle, and it's by a brand called Retap. Um, this was only 3 bucks, and these are pretty expensive at Target. And I just, I, I really like it. It's a like glass, and then it has the yellow top. I, I don't know, I just think it's really cute. And you can put this in the dishwasher, which is really nice. Um, I wouldn't let the kids use it, obviously, because it's glass. Uh, but, I don't know, I think for myself... It's pretty cool. Three dollars at three times seven. Three times seven. So it was two dollars and ten cents. Yeah? Three times seven is twenty-one. So yeah, two dollars and ten cents. Not too shabby for this. And yeah, I, I really like reusable like I have a lot whenever I find those reusable um plastic Starbucks drinking cups, the double barrel ones, I always get those. And um I don't know. I just thought this was a really cute bottle. I'm nuts. Okay, anyway. Oh, this one was super duper cool. And this guy was a little bit pricey. He was $13, but he is a really heavy... He's a dash hound. Like, one of those wiener dogs, right? That's a dash hound. Um, I don't know exactly what he's for. He has, like, this thing on his back. And I don't know what that's about. But I wanted to use him as a doorstop, either like for the garage door. I think he would be a cool doorstop. I don't know if he's strong enough, but he's really, 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 really heavy. So it might work out. Or I was gonna use him um, as kind of like a doorstop for uh, one of the back gate doors. So, or the like the gate to the backyard. Uh, and yeah, cause I know like on one side, I'm just using kind of like a pot, I'm literally using a pod plant to hold the gate open. And I think he would be really cute. 
Uh, but yeah, so $13 for him, but he's super heavy. I'm sure he's like solid raw iron or something. So, and he's really cute. <laughs> so I'm really, really excited about him. But if anyone knows anything about him, um, oh, it's, he's made express something for Upper Deck Limited. So I, I guess that's like the brand Upper Deck. I should look it up. So he's really cool. Really excited to have him as part of the family. Okay, you guys are gonna crack up about this item. Okay, so I found this and I was like, at first I was like, what is this? Like a plunger for the toilet? And then, like, I was looking at it, I was like, oh my gosh. Like, it's it's for, like, when, if you have, like, a pool and you have, like, that little basket thing, you can literally use, like, this is what you use to take out the basket. And, like, honestly, you guys, like, there are... Like critters and stuff inside that skimmer basket for the pool, and I'm always like, Ugh, like, st like stick my head in there. I'm just like, Ugh, like the whole time, I'm like, and like a couple times there have been like mice in there, and I'm just like dying. So, literally, this is like perfect, and I love it. It's called the Skimmer Angel. It's your guardian against the evil lurking in your skimmer basket, and I was like, how perfect is this? Like, it's like, and literally, like, all these things, like, like, okay, if I ever find a snake inside there, I would probably die, and I would not even use this to get it out, like, I would just, probably just die about it, because I would probably be the one tasked with, like, getting the snake out, and I would just have an aneurysm and, like, pass out, so, I, <laughs> I'm so excited for this, I'm gonna use it, like, Later on today, because I didn't take the skimmer out this morning, I totally forgot, and I even cleaned the pool today. Uh, so, I just clean the pool, like, pretty much every day. Uh, so, I'm really excited about this thing, so, yay! And I think, like, our skimmer basket has, like, a little thing to pull out, like, the basket already, but I'm just, like, I'm just gonna, like, use this thing to hook it out. Like, I know, like, there's a million other things I could probably use to do the same exact thing, but this was three dollars, and then three... So it's two dollars and ten cents. Um, yeah, so this is like specifically just gonna be for the pool. Hadrian, like what is going nuts? I think I will finding the most random stuff ever. Okay, up next. So this little, okay, is this the cat? This is Pepe Le Pew, right? And I feel like Pepe being inside this little thing this whole time did not do him any favors because I think it kind of scratched him up a little bit to be honest, especially when he was in the car. But he's a little salt and pepper shaker, and uh, this he is obviously he says salt, so he's a salt shaker. Um, I couldn't find the cat, and I don't remember the cat's name. If anyone knows the name of the cat, can you let me know down below in the comments? Because I just I just, I I just know that he's Pepe Le Pew, and he was a dollar ninety nine. I thought he was so cute, and I wouldn't even use him as a salt and pepper shaker. I'd probably just use him decoratively. And, uh, he's so cute. I, I can't believe, like, I, I'm pretty sure that putting him inside this thing was not the best idea, but that just ended up what happening, or that's just what ended up happening when I bought it. So, totally okay, though. I'm just gonna, like, fill him in, maybe, like, with some acrylic paint or something. But, so cute. It reminds me of my childhood. When I was little, and, I, like, I first moved to America, I would always watch, like, cartoons, and I remember, like, specifically, Pepe Le Pew was one of my favorites, and I really wanted a skunk for some reason. I don't even think we have skunks in the Philippines, so I didn't really know what a skunk was. And I was just like, oh, like, why does he smell? He just, like, radiates his scent. So, I don't know. Um, uh, okay. Then, this was really cool, because if you guys have watched any of my thrifting, uh, videos or vlogs or anything, I always talk about anthropology, and the reason I love anthrop- And I, I think someone commented the other day, like, what's so great about anthropology, because- probably because I'm always talking about it. I just love anthropology, like, the brand so much. They, like, their aesthetic, like, for home decor is just so nice. And, I don't know, I'm just, like, always looking for it, especially because their pieces are so expensive. And I have actually, I've never, have I ever bought, I think I bought two tea towels from Anthropology, And that's about it. Like, my mom had, like, my mom has some clothes. And I have thrifted clothes. And I thrift, like, home decor stuff whenever I find it. But if you guys, like, go to their website or go to their Instagram, they have, like, their home goods are gorgeous. I love the look. It's, like, so boho, so, like, boho chic. 
like Moroccan, like it's just really cool. Like the vibe is awesome, and this is like kind of like the quintessential, like actual, like like their like aesthetic right now, and it's really really nice. Uh, probably not gonna use it for um, like you can. Use, this is microwave and dishwasher safe, so you can like. I don't know, heat up water in here. I don't know what this is. I don't know if it had a lid before, but I'm actually going to use this for plants. I think this would be a really, really nice planter. I love the design. I love the color. I just love everything about it, and it is just so cool. And yeah, this guy was $4.99, and I know that this must have been way more expensive at Anthropology when it was there at retail price. So really, really excited about this. This is my first kind of like, Actually, no, I've, I've thrifted a planter before, for, uh, an anthropology planter before for plants. But, I mean, this is, like, my first pitcher because I don't have any pitchers. So, I have, like, thrifted other, like, anthropology things for plants before in the past. Uh, what else do I have? Oh, goodness. Okay, so I have a couple more things to share with you guys. Uh, let me show you guys this. I got, like, this little pink wallet, and it was, like, $2.99, so it's was 3 bucks. It's a little coach wallet. It's, like, the pink fabric with the gold leather trim and then the inside is just like a vachetta vachetta how do you pronounce that vachetta 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 da, da, da. i know you guys i can't pronounce anything it's really <laughs> i i try but i mean english isn't my first language so that's like the excuse that i'm always gonna give english wasn't my first language and you can know so much about like everything about like the English language but sometimes like just like pronunciation is really difficult and actually pronunciate like ink like American English pronunciation is actually so, like the most difficult I think is what they say as far as like spelling things out so there's also that uh, but it's just a cute little wallet um, we're just gonna clean it up has like a little stain on there but the vegeta is not too bad on the interior and plus this always happens to vegeta it gets like a like a golden honey patina over time and then up next, this backpack was, I believe it was like $7. Because um, it, it didn't have a sticker and I was like, how much is this? They're like $7, I think is what they said at the register. And it's just a really cool vintage guest backpack. I know guest is definitely, like vintage guest especially with this logo is making a comeback um, in the fashion scene. So I picked this up for anyone that would be interested. It's just like a fun... Um, drawstring backpack in like that black uh, it kind of feels like that Kipling material and then just like silver hardware actually kind of when I first actually saw it from afar I thought it was a Kipling and I was like oh is that a Kipling and then it was a guest and I was like ah okay awesome so got that too okay <sighs> Jeez, you're probably like hating you're just like talking so much and showing us so much stuff like what is this um Last but not least, and I was really, 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 really excited to find this. And like these, um, uh, these, those two, these last two things that I showed you, like the backpack and this item right here, were actually behind the register. I guess like someone decided they didn't want them or something, and they were just like on um, one of those push carts. So I don't know exactly what that is, or if they were gonna put it inside the display case, because sometimes they do that too. Um, but I found this really cool. This is. Oh, I hope you guys can see. This is a vintage Dior crossbody bag. So cute. It has gold hardware. And it's like, this is, um, like a, kind of like a coated kind of canvas. And then it's really cute. It has, like, the Dior print on the fabric. And then it says Dior right there on the little button. And it just opens like that. There is, like, a little bit of wear right there from when, like, the lamination on the, um, like, the lining is, like, kind of coming off. But it's just so so gorgeous, so cute, and this was eight dollars. So it's a really cute little crossbody bag, a vintage Dior. So excited about it. But that rounds out today's video. Thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me and checking out today's haul. I'm sorry it was so long and long-winded. Like, <laughs> so there's so much good stuff um, that day, and I was just really excited. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, please give it a big thumbs up. That always helps immensely. Don't forget again to subscribe. Check out today's vlog. It goes up at 2. There's going to be tons of fun thrifting and really great finds because I'm filming this, I'm filming this video 
this day that yeah anyway so I already know it's gonna be a great video so don't forget to check that out I got so many awesome goodies and Eliza and I build a wagon so that's gonna be really fun too so <laughs> but um, again Please give the video a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to tune into the vlog. And the new thrifting video goes up tomorrow, bright and early at 7 a.m. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you all later. Adios! Wait a minute, how fabulous is this pillow? From Target? Oh, it's an outdoor pillow. Postcard. Live in the sunshine, swim in the sea, drink the wild hair. Wait a minute, why are these pillows so cute? This one's really cute, too. What are the pillows do they have? Oh, that's gorgeous. I love how graphic that is. I, okay, obviously you need to get some of these blue pillows. I actually have that. This is 